I was in the fourth grade in Sister Sharon's class, and she had given us an assignment over the weekend to come up with a name for our class guinea pig. Whoever won the competition would get a huge prize, and I knew I would win. I was gonna name him Sprinkles, and I was already planning what I was gonna do with that prize. But Monday never came. My evil cousin Katrina had decided to come to town, and it was no secret that she was no fan of mine. Katrina was angry. She grew up on a small island, never had many friends or much family, and that contributed to her aggressive demeanor. My family had anticipated her arrival, and they knew it was time to get out. We had to beat the clock, and we made it just in time. We settled for a small city, small little town, rather, right outside of the city. And apparently we made it just in time, because as soon as I put my bag down, they had shut the city down. That meant no one in and no one out. I watched Katrina rip down power lines, engulf my home with floods, and tear away all the memories I had ever known in the only home I had ever known. It felt like she was purposely causing inconvenience and danger in the life of myself, my family, and my friends. I watched a newscast, probably just the same one that you watched, and saw my aunt standing on the Broad Street Bridge, panicking, looking nervous, trying to figure out how she was gonna get out of the city. But there was no way out. I watched my people suffer. I watched my family die. And I watched everything I had ever known being ripped away from me in one instant. We got stuck in that tiny town and Katrina made her way there too. It seemed as if she had an agenda to wreak havoc on the bayou and was gonna destroy everything in her path. And in her path was me. I can only remember just a week ago when my only care in the world was naming Sprinkles or playing double dutch with Nikisha or going to the corner store. But now I heard the shutters falling, the water knocking violently at the door, and it seemed like Katrina was chasing me. I couldn't figure out why. Her tears poured from her eyes like floods, and the wind could knock you off your feet. She had every intention of making her wrath felt far and wide, and we could definitely feel it. She knocked down shelves, damaged power lines, and flooded everything from what we could see. She devastated everything. Everything in my sight was devastated, including people, some who would recover and some who I would never see again. Katrina hated us, and she has shown us that firsthand. And we knew that when she left, the city would never be the same again.